So research investigating the effects of child abuse and neglect has overall physical health, has largely focused on outcomes in adulthood. However, data from the longitude studies of child abuse and neglect in the United States has indicated strong association between abuse, neglect and health problems in children and adolescents. Um, if, uh, Flaherty found that exposure to one adverse experience doubled the odds of children having overall poor physical health at the age of six and tripled them if children have experienced four or more adverse experiences. So with trauma comes acute stress and the stress of it all, the stress of that sort of stuff impacts on the immune system and so the stress actually um, damages the immune system so they're more susceptible to get more flu-like symptoms uh, more ailments like diarrhea and linked highly to, um, um, to anxiety, those sort of things. So we need to do trauma equals stress, stress equals lower immune system, lower immune system means more exposure to sickness and so there's less, less ability to fight that. So it's a double whammy for the kid and the kid's not only got poor attachment going on with the parents but then they have to deal with the stress and be constantly sick which could lead to a lot of missing out on school. A further study by Hersey Chang and, and Coach found that all types of abuse and neglect were associated with 8 out of 10 major adolescent health risks. A common form of abuse affecting the health of babies is shaken baby syndrome. Health problems resulting from shaky baby syndrome may include brain damage, spinal cord injuries, hearing loss, speech difficulties and even death. So I'm not actually going to be talking about that but that's just one example of how one act of abuse can lead to all sorts of, uh, all sorts of serious health issues within a baby or a toddler. Or young child.